Everything I said to people, they go, and that's that's the more you know. <laughs> no, the big that's one to grow on. Yeah, that's one to grow on. One to grow on. I there tell it the is. kids that. And speaking of one to grow on, and uh, a good role model for the children, uh, and from my hometown, the great great Darnell Stapleton, formerly the Pittsburgh Steelers, formerly a Union farmer, which is my hometown's uh, high school football team. Yeah. What's up, Darnell? Not much, man. How you, how you doing, man? Oh, I can't complain. You got one of those baby faces. You, uh, you, 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 you're 14 years old. You look like you're 14. Just turned 16. Uh, you, 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 that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Stay away from Jerry Sandusky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try. Why couldn't Jerry Sandusky like try it with someone like you? You look 14, <laughs> and then, you know, it would end today. If you were the first kid he tried to bang, Okay, he'd be dead, yeah. and we'd be, you know, you, you'd have punched him in the face, and hopefully he would have died of a broken neck injury. <laughs> Squashed him. You know, because Squashed you him. got that baby face. Yep. Yeah. What do you think of that whole thing? I mean, how horrible. I mean, you're a Rutgers guy, but is there a worse story in the history of sports? I don't think there is, but uh, no. I, I think that's one that... Maybe the 62 match, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I mean, come on. Stop making a joke about it. Yeah, I think it is a bad situation that went on there, but I think the players and the coaches there are handling it the, the right way. Yeah, no, I feel bad for the, the players, man. Mm -hmm. the, these guys, like, I mean, Chris, I mean, I don't know what your feelings are on this, but these guys just got thrown into a situation. They go to Penn State. Who thinks that's going to go wrong? Oh, they don't know. They you know, don't, know. They don't yeah. know what they're walking into. But you know what? People keep the state of Pennsylvania now is suing. Right, suing the NCAA. Well, it's just getting ugly. That yeah. is total garbage right, right there. They, I, I mean, I feel bad for the players, and yeah. they gave the players an out too. They said to all these players, "You guys can transfer if you want to. No penalty. No have to sit out a year. You could yeah. have left yeah. there. I, I thought they should have given that school the death penalty. You yeah. allow an assistant coach to walk around like that? Can't do it. Mm -hmm. You can't not do that to now, destroy the lives of all these kids. I mean, now, in your opinion. Joe Paterno's legacy uh, uh, flushed, how, uh, flushed. Right, you forget about him, right? Gone. Flushed. See, I hate look. look and I'm an Italian guy from Accessory. Jersey. I've had I've had cousins, friends. I, people played for Penn State and like in the Italian community. <laughs> By the way, I love it. Just like now, you can just say community. <laughs> Whatever group you're part of, you say community, and people right away don't want to offend you. I'm part of the uh, Italian community. Uh, and uh, no, listen. I, I love Joe Paterno. We were taught, yeah. Yeah, but but look, the guy should have done more. His legacy, to me, there there is. You're right. There is no legacy. It's flushed. It's, I mean, yeah. I, you can't say that everything he ever did is now irrelevant. But it's all been washed over. It's been painted with a different brush. Right. And you can't ever take away the fact that he knew something was going on and he allowed it to continue. I mean, we'll never actually know just how much he knew. He, but knew, he knew enough, enough. though. He yeah, enough. I mean, you know, he knew he, there's certain things you do know. It makes uh, you want to puke. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what, what do you think about that, Darnell, with, with Joe Paterno? Do you think he's a guy you just can't ever look at the same way, obviously? But I mean, I think you, you got to kind of separate, you know, what was done off the field, what's on the field. See, if, can you do that, though? That's a hard thing to do, man, because you're talking about a major situation. I, I understand that, but you, you're talking about something that somebody said they didn't know much about, or they told the right people about the situation. So, so you're talking about you're talking like a football player, and I respect that. You're showing respect to, for the coach. You got to. I know, but you know, you're talking you're talking like that guy, uh, the Gambino family when John Gotti took over. Okay, <laughs> every Fourth of July they would have illegal fireworks yeah. uh, down uh, down in Little Italy. All right. And uh, every 4th of July, after Gambino took over, after uh, Gotti took over, the NBC would send the reporter down there. And there'd be a guy cooking sausages with a cigar, and they go, listen, there's no fireworks here, right? He goes, nah, there's no fireworks here. No fireworks here. <laughs> he goes, well, you said last year there were no fireworks here. He goes, that was last year. I'm, uh, I got nothing to do with last year. I wasn't even here last year. There's no fireworks here. And then at midnight, there were always fireworks. So, I mean, in a way, you sound like that blindly loyal guy, and I get it, but you're talking about the worst crime of all time, you know. I, I you know, I, I see where you're coming from, but at some point, you know. Yeah, I, I think it's something that they they'll deal with there for a long time. Yeah. But uh, they got the right people in place to, you know, kind of move on from it. Well, what do you think about Penn State's future, Chris? What do you think they, they have had a good one? coach? They yeah. Bill O'Brien is a heck of a coach. So I th I'm surprised he's still there. You know, right. I thought he was going to go to the NFL uh, after this latest round, but. I think they'll be okay. That's a four-year probation is a long time. You know, not being in bowl games for you know for that amount of time is a yeah, tough penalty. But look, winning games the way they did this year was big for them. Mm -hmm. Having a successful season, even in the the wake of all this tragedy, is big for them. The one area I take issue with what you're saying there is that you know, 
imagine it's your brother or sister and you hear the head coach yeah, and the head coach reported to administration or told the campus police. I mean, mm -hmm. we've all been to college. We know the campus police. I haven't. That's, that's oh. kind of messed up. You, were <laughs> you guys are college kids. I'm not. Sorry. You can live through us. I've seen the Connecticut School of Broadcasting happen. have great campus police. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, can't, you can't tell the campus police. And you can't tell. Even if you do tell those people, and if something still is going on, and mm -hmm. it's, you still see this guy in your locker room day in and day out, that's got to make your stomach churn, yeah. knowing mm -hmm. that he did something. What You don't know what degree of what it was. I hear what you're saying there. Mm -hmm. But you know something happened, and you continue to allow this guy to work for you. And you continue to allow this guy to have carte blanche with the locker room, be able to do whatever he wants when he retired, be in those, those, uh, the, the, the training facility, all that stuff. That, was to me, was the most deplorable part of it. It's the worst story in the history of it's sports. Bad. It's it really, bad. It really is bad. And it won't go away because he's nah. like appealing. Yeah, don't yeah, appeal, yeah, man. Yeah, Let it go. Yeah. It'll never go away. And Sandusky's the kind of... Got that crazy lawyer that's he, out there, yeah. like, you know, He's saying, a sociopath. You know, oh, Sandusky. he is. And, and he, so he doesn't care about anybody else. And he's going to keep Convinced himself that he didn't do it. And he probably loves the attention and that because he's a sociopath. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep going that's, on. That's sick. Like, he's... I mean, that's... He's convinced himself he didn't do it. Right. He's convinced it didn't actually happen. Um... Moving on, though, uh, on the college uh, football uh, subject, you're a Rutgers guy. Mm -hmm. We became a huge uh, friend of the Rutgers uh, community mm -hmm. uh, this uh, this year with Tim Bernetti. And, uh, God, man, I, you know, they got me hooked now. I'm a mm -hmm. Rutgers fan. I didn't, again, I have no college affiliation. But uh, what's their future look like? I, I mean, they're, they're going into, what, the uh, – what, they just got into, what, the Big the Big Ten? Mm -hmm. the yeah, Big they Ten. moved to the Big Ten. So uh, what do you think about that move? I mean, they're going to have a worse schedule. I mean, a worse record, uh, right? You know, I haven't really had time to think about it. You know, yeah. it's, it's something that, uh, you know, is not on my shoulders. I, I'm proud of what Rutgers has been able to put on as an alumni, you know, put right. on tape. And it's something that I look forward to seeing in the future. Yeah, do you go to a lot of games? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, my brother just graduated there last year. Oh, he I'm did? A, yeah, I'm an alum. So, uh, it, it, you know, that place is near and dear to my heart. Now, okay, describe you get out of Union High. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, are you married? No. Did you ever have, like, a high school sweetheart that you had to break her heart and you go to big-time football and... No, I didn't have a high school sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. But you're better off these boys. <laughs> I am dating now, though. Yeah, good for you. I've been in a relationship, like, four years. Oh, you are? Serious? Yeah. Are yeah, you, you serious. living together? Uh, pretty much, you can say so. Christ. Not the same thing. Pretty yeah. much is not the same yeah. thing, which yeah, is yeah, a yeah, station yeah. there. Yeah, I know. The, the, if she's got an apartment, that's not. Does she have a place yeah. where she could go? Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, you want that, you want to have that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 45 years old, and I've I've had maybe what you could call six or seven serious relationships. Uh -huh. In that sense, uh, the uh, meaning the cops were only called twice. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, it, it uh, when when they move in, that's when they get the hooks in you. Am I right? Am I right? You gotta I, be careful. I gotta be careful what I say too. Yeah, you, you know, you know she's listening or watching right now. Gotta be careful what you say right now. This yeah. is like the rookie symposium. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta well, I'm not a rookie. I know. That's what I'm saying. But you look like one. So these girls, you're a target for these girls. Now I happen to, you know, I have a lovely woman right now. Um, oh, nice. I've only been arrested once because of her. Uh, it's an improvement. That was overseas. But uh, doesn't count. But, but she's she's a wonderful person she keeps me in line actually okay. but I've, I've over the years I've made a lot of mistakes with broads you know yeah I mean really a couple in particular Puerto Rican chick with uh, green eyes they'll from, get you uh, oh my god <laughs> from Red from Red Hook Brooklyn oh Maron oh Maron god very loud she fed would, you good she would yell fed me good she would yell stuff like 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 yeah you know, I didn't mind that she was saying stuff loudly mm -hmm. it was what she was saying like oh look at this cocaine officer <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he had some in the bedroom. Yeah, you know, you could you could keep that down. Keep that down. Get this out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have to you have to be careful. With it. Yeah. Now you never had a drug problem, right? No, never. Good for you, man. You look you look clean. Yeah. You look clean. I I went. I, we both went to the same high school. You know. Said he had four knee four knee surgeries four knee surgery. in the pros. Man, that's wow. That's and you were how many years were you in the pros? Four. Four. If, one every year. Pretty much. Wow. See, now, if you're dating a chick who's had four knee surgeries, that's trouble. <laughs> because, you know, what is she using those knees for? Exactly. <laughs> I've, you, know, you got some questions there. I've dated, I've dated, women, I've dated some women uh, who've had four knee surgeries. That's a lot of, that's a lot of oral. <laughs> that's a lot of oral. No, honestly, uh, you, you got to be careful. And, and, and we, we both come from the same hometown. Yeah. And we both took very different paths. You took the clean-cut college <laughs> football hero. I took the edgy comic 
type 2 diabetes by 40. <laughs> uh, drug addled scumbag. Are you in the uh, Union High Hall of Fame? No. See, I'm not either. Yeah, I don't I know. Mean, we got to write somebody. I, yeah, really, me and you. I, I want to go who on. Is, who is in the Union High Hall of Fame? Okay. Well, Elliot Maddox, who batted 320 for the Mets in 1976. Okay. Mm -hmm. A guy named Ray Liotta. Really, of course. Yeah, good fellas. Yep. Uh, a guy named Dave Daddio, who played for the Detroit Lions, yep. a football player. A guy named Larry Kubin, who's got a ring with the 1982 Redskins. Okay. Okay. A guy named Al Santorini, who pitched for the Cardinals in the late 60s. He was on the uh, Steve Carlton right. Cardinals. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I, I, a guy named Robert Wool, who's a comedian. You yeah. know Robert Wool. Oh, I know the name. Arliss, okay. right? Arliss. Yeah. The guy who played Arliss. Yep. yep. Okay. Now, how His pitches up on the wall right. as soon as you walk in there. There's pictures up on the jerk-off wall. <laughs> Where, is there an actual building? No, it's the the Hall of Fame, when you walk in Union High School, it's right down the right hand, right by the main office. The last time I walked in Union High School was my last day of summer school in 1985. <laughs> <laughs> August 5th, that's when I got my diploma. Can, can I ask you a question about Ray Liotta? I mean, like, at what point does, you know, when was Goodfellas? What year was that? Goodfellas came out in 1990, shot in 89. I mean, at what point do you, can you stop living off a movie like that? I mean, he hasn't had a good movie in God knows how long Calm since Calm down. Then. He might I'm really be saying. connected. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, he's 14 years older than me. I've only met him once. And I, I met him out in L.A., and I got to say, meeting him was like the last half hour of Goodfellas. <laughs> yeah. When he thinks that helicopter's following him, yeah. I don't know what Ray was doing that night, but we met out of the club in Beverly Hills. He goes, you're from Union? Yeah, 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 with the Kiwami. Yeah, 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 I'm from, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was kind of pale. I mean, I love that movie. I mean, that Well, look, he did a lot of stuff after that. He did a lot of movies yeah. after that that made money, and he's made himself some cash. What was the last? I can't remember the last one he was in. Well, neither can I. He put me on the spot. <laughs> Just try to get don't one. Don't look at me. But <laughs> not, not your brand of actor right there. Well, listen, I've done motion pictures i've done uh, television i've done radio mm -hmm. i've done i've i've uh, books stand-up comedy i mean darnell and you got a freaking ring look at the ring he's got yeah, show that real quick. he dropped look that, on the table that ring right quick that came on the table oh my quick. god yeah. yeah that's that looks like a brooch or something but you know me and you honestly can we do this the audio line show is going to sponsor a big campaign to get myself and darnell in the union eye hall of fame oh that sounds sweet ready how long do you think it'll take uh, about 17 years. 17? <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to lose my legs to diabetes by that. So you can, <laughs> and my life, maybe. So you're going to have to keep going. Darnell, can I'll you keep push the you fight around. going? I'll, okay. I'll push you around. you push me around. I got you. I'll keep no, the fight going. We're going to keep, you know what? Stick around. we got to take a break. We're going to talk more about this. Come back for more of the Artie Line.